This is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and it's time for another Shinrazeri video. Now you guys know I am obsessed with blue and white Shinrazeri, and I have a growing collection of blue and white porcelain and blue and white china. I have just added Blue Willow salad plates to my growing collection. So Blue Willow is a very popular style of Shinrazeri china and is seen in many traditional home decors. So in today's video, I'm doing a blue and white tablescape featuring Blue Willow Shinrazeri china. So if you like Blue Willow, leave a comment in the box below and let's get started. is the blue willow plate that inspired today's video. Now I have many blue and white Shinrazeri videos on my channel and it's probably what I'm best known for, but I often go for more contemporary Shinrazeri looks. However, I do want to go a little bit more grand millennial and mix blue willow with some contemporary tablewares for a fresh approach to blue willow Shinrazeri table decor. So I found a set of these Blue Willow salad plates at my local home goods, and I'm still searching for the matching dinner plates, so wish me luck. But these Blue Willow plates are from Royal Wessex, and they make great Blue Willow china at affordable prices. I usually see their products at home goods, so it can be challenging to find a full set of them because they do sell so quickly due to popularity. But what drew me to this blue willow pattern is that it's primarily floral on the outer edge, but it does have that typical blue willow style scenery in the center of the plate. So I think it's a blue willow plate that can pair well with other china patterns, and it works well for those who like to mix and match china patterns like I do. When it comes to mixing and matching blue and white china, there are a couple of options. You can layer multiple patterns of blue and white china on top of each other for a really complex and sophisticated look, which I often do, or you can choose to just highlight one or two pieces. So of course, because this is my first time using my new salad plates, I've chosen to highlight my blue willow salad plates. So I'm using a very plain burlap charger plate in an even simpler white dinner plate from Tint Strawberry Street. And what it does is the salad plate tends to act like a bullseye and it draws your eye dead into the center of the blue willow salad plate so that you can really appreciate the pattern and of course all of the shades of blue really jump out at you and really pop. So when it comes to the placemat, I decided to add just a little bit more texture to this look by going with a navy blue, almost knit-like um, placemat. And I typically use this placemat with a lot of my coastal looks because it's so casual and it's so much fun. Now for my napkins, I'm using a really dark, um, blue and white striped napkin and I've just used a really simple silver um, napkin ring just to tie the whole look together. For my centerpiece, I am doing a really large blue hydrangea floral arrangement. Now hydrangeas are some of my favorite flowers and of course I love to use blue and white, so I did just pick up a set of blue hydrangea stems. Now I'm mixing up my hydrangea stems, so I do have some from Hobby Lobby, some from Michaels, and a few stems from Joann's because I want to give a little bit of depth of dimension to my floral arrangement and I want it to have multiple shades of blue in there. Now I love real hydrangeas but I don't have a green thumb so usually by the time I buy some they're almost dead before I get to film. So for me silk arrangements are probably the way to go especially because I do so many arrangements for my YouTube channel. However if you can go for fresh florals it's always best and it gives just a little bit more elegance to each table. So I created my floral arrangement inside of a very simple white vase that has like a straw bottom on the end. And the vase is kind of like a hurricane shape. It's a great piece. And I want to say I got that from Home Goods um, probably well over 10 years ago. 
On either side of my full arrangement though, I have these beautiful glass candle holders and they have like a starfish on the bottom. It's really textured, super cute. I got those um, probably right when I started my YouTube channel at a local thrift store and I have used it for a couple of my coastal tablescapes. So I really do enjoy using those pieces and because they're coastal and they really kind of have a theme to them, I'm super uh, excited about the fact that I found them at a really cost effective rate so even if I only take them out a couple times a year I'm still getting my money's worth and of course it is better for the environment for you to reuse items and repurpose items for my table runner I'm going for a blue and white striped table runner I did show this table runner a while ago in a haul and I just love the bold stripe it adds kind of a beachy type of vibe it really pops off of my dark table and I think it's a super fun look um, and I think it kind of ties the whole look together so I'm really excited about the way today's table came together So today's Blue Willow Tablescape is a part of a YouTube collaboration. The title of this collaboration is called Blue and White Table Decor. Now the hosts for the collaboration are Marilyn's Cozy Lifestyle and Debbie Bubbles. I'll have a link to each of the host channel in my description box as well as a link to the collaboration playlist. Be sure to check out the playlist because there are sure to be other great blue and white tablescapes out there. I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.